Oana, hey Anna, how are you? Anna Dengo from Texas. Thank you so much. I'm going to be sharing today, obviously, I'm going to update you on the speakers that are already confirmed, some more speakers, but also kind of the panels, the results of the survey, which keep, they keep changing. We're sending this survey and, um, and there's opportunities for any of you that are watching this live or recording to obviously complete it and share it. We really want as many people as possible to fill it in. So it would be great to, to make sure that we have all of you here joining us today or this recording to complete the survey. But we've got some fascinating results and it continues to surprise me. But what it is telling us, what you want to hear, what, what people want to hear at the Love Event. The Love Event, I want to remind you, is happening between the 4th and 6th of February. It's in Miami. It's a live event online. And also, it's going to be streamed on the Best You TV. So there's many opportunities to watch it. No excuse. And there's a lot more to the Love Event than just talking about love. It's about having real conversations uh, and bringing people together with what brings us together. But hey, let's talk about what it is to be kind. Let's talk about what it is to care. What Let's talk about also how we can elevate consciousness, which is one of the main things that we're doing. So if you're joining us now, thank you so much for being here. If um, if you haven't written in yet where you're joining us from, I would love to hear where you're actually joining us from. As always, there's a lot of people registering for these type of events and then for whatever reason they can't attend. No worries, we're going to be sharing the recording. So I'm going to be sharing my screen very soon. We've already got recording in motion. It's only We're only one minute past. So in a couple of minutes, please feel free to ask me any questions, any questions you may have related to the event. And what I'm going to be sharing here as well is how you can get involved. This is not our event. This is everyone's event. And we want as many people, as many of you as possible to be able to feel part of it and, and, and in whatever way you want and whatever capacity from obviously being online, uh, watching it online, watching on the TV, completing the survey. Maybe you want to become a panelist. Maybe you want to showcase your expertise there. So we would love to hear from you uh, if that's the case. There's opportunities to sponsor, to partner. And we've got more and more people joining us every day. We've got some big names already, and I'm very excited about that. So in a minute, I'm going to be sharing my screen. We're just a couple of minutes over. So I'm going to look at where I can share my screen, and I'll be with you very quickly. So bear with me. Thank you so much. Okay, let me just make sure I've got that open quickly and I'll be with you straight away. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience. There's so many little falling little parts between the webinar that we always have to make sure that we have all everything there. And, and please, some input just to make sure that you can see my screen is kind of important because if not, I'm just talking to myself by myself on my own. And that's not something you want to do, is it? So please, if there's anything that, you know, if you can see the screen, please just say yes. That will help me understand. That you can see it all and uh, I'm going to make sure that I open that up a little bit more. Let's say great. Okay, cool. So you should be able to see the first slide, which is just literally the love event and kind of the dates. If that's the case, thank you. Please share that with me. Let me know. I'm going to be checking the chat now and then. Yes, great. Anna. Thank, thank you, Anna. Thank you for letting me know. So, well, basically, look, the, the idea of the love event, as I said, is to bring people together. What, what, what is it? What is the love event about? Why did I come up with this concept and idea? I think that at a time when we're really, you know, we've, we've been so focused on throughout our lives and building a career, following the money, buying assets and all sorts of things, you know, it's only when we lose friends or we lose loved ones or, or, you know, kind of COVID that we really realize that there's a lot more to life, obviously, than just, you know, making the money, writing the book or whatever it is that we're pursuing. So the love event was really about how could we bring love at the forefront? How could we bring love to the, you know, to the conversations that need to be had around, you know, how can we become kinder? Uh, how can we care more? And, and most importantly, how can we elevate consciousness? Consciousness is really about, well, it's defined as it's in a state of being awake, being aware of your surroundings. And uh, the opposite is obviously being asleep and also being oblivious. So in order to be awake and aware of our surroundings, which is what consciousness means, we obviously need to make sure that we look and 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 see what's happening. And the only way that we can do that sometimes is by actually learning and having a little bit more information. Dr. Sylvia Earle, who we're hoping is gonna be a speaker at the event, also said that you can't care about what you don't know about. And the idea of elevating consciousness is for each and every one of us to find ways where we can, where we can learn more, where we can become more conscious. 
and also elevate our own consciousness. So there's going to be lots of conversations around that. But that's what the love event is, basically. And, uh, well, apart from that, well, you've got all the information on the loveevent.com. So if, if you haven't seen it yet, you can literally go and we're going to put this in the description, the loveevent.com. It's all there in all in one page. And you can have a look at the speakers. You can have a look at everything that's happening. There's many, many ways, as I said, that you can, guys can get involved. And one of the information I'm going to be sharing here today is a little bit about how you can do that and some of the results of the survey. That's the purpose and an update on the speakers. So for those of you that don't know anything about me, well, I'm the founder of The Best You, uh, The Best You Expos, The Best You Magazine. And also I'm the author of The Question, which was my latest book, uh, Find Your True Purpose. And I've been blessed and honored to have promoted around a thousand speakers all over these years. And we've had around a hundred thousand people attend, you know, when those times when people could get together in a big gig, in a big gig. So that's, that's what I did. And obviously we've evolved and moved very much towards television. Although this is our first event we're doing live again in Miami, which we're very excited about. I was in Miami very recently. It was at a couple of events and it was just kind of, I don't know, different and nice to be able to be in a room with hundreds of people. And, you know, everyone was very comfortable in being back and getting out of the room and not wearing a mask for a little while. So it was a beautiful experience. So that's me, that's my story. And this love event that we do, we're putting together, well, literally it's three days, three days, 60 plus speakers. We're going to have more than 10 panels. We've got some, some great special guests that are going to be announced in the coming weeks and months. But there's tables, there's opportunities to have a table there. And there's opportunities for you to be able to advertise your services, promote your services. There's opportunities for you to be able to get involved or sponsor, sponsor specific, um, a specific brand or sponsor, maybe even one of the awards. We've got a, we also have, and we're very excited about, it's going to be a really good high quality production, you know, with LED screens, you know, screens where we're promoting services, ads, some of the NGOs and nonprofits that we're doing. And we're also going to be having red carpet interviews throughout the three days to highlight the speakers, highlight our guests and highlight the people that are there. Again, everything is going to be streamed on the Best You TV. So there's so many opportunities for us to be able to create awareness of great people that are doing great things. And then we've got the gala, the gala, which is going to be happening on the Saturday night. That's the fifth. And that's one night. It's a dinner. We're going to have around 250 guests. It's going to be very entertaining, very engaging. We've got some funny, charismatic people entertaining us that night. There's again, there's tables there. It, it's streamed. And uh, it's going to be a, cer a ceremony where we're going to be giving awards. So at least seven, eight people, you know, best movies. We're looking at also the opportunity to recognize people that produce some amazing documentaries, NGOs, uh, some amazing individuals. So all that can also be found on the loveevent.com and it's also on the bestyouawards.com. So you can also submit who you would like to put forward to win an award. If there's a specific charity that you would like to suggest or if there's a uh, something that you would feel or someone that you feel should be recognized, there's an opportunity for you to do that. And... Um, and, and that's what's going to be happening that night on a Saturday. We're very excited about that. And these are some of the confirmed speakers that we have. And we these are not all of them, but, you know, we, we do have Ken Honda now. We've just literally uh, got Marissa Peer confirmed a couple of days ago, which is great. She brings so many people and she's got such great energy as well. And, hey, she's going to be talking about love in a big way, of course. Uh, Dr. John Demartini, Master Jaddy, Greg Reed, my friend Greg Reed, you know, with Secret Knock and the hundreds of amazing books he's written for the Napoleon Hill Foundation. Very honored to have him. And then, you know, between Master Jaddy and David Fagan have been, you know, supports uh, for me of people that have helped me, well, create awareness of the event and come up with the ideas and put it together. Judy May Murphy, Dodia Cordova, Jim Duplessis, Sarah Davison, Sid and Liz. And then, you know, we've got other people and other guests joining us uh, who we hope will be joining us, you know, there as well. Barbie Layton and, and we've got Alison Larson. We've got a lot of other people that we're hoping are going to be involved as well and supporting us. But Ken, for example, we just got a quick little video here. I'm going to play so you can just see what Ken has to say about speaking at the love event. Or not. Hold on. Bear with me. Hello. Yes, Ken Honda was there, but he's not there now. Bear with me. Um, I think I did it. The there you go. Many. I'd like to announce that I'll be joining the love event presented by Best You. Expo in February. 
and I hope you join me. This event aims to raise our consciousness towards love, compassion, and kindness. All right, there's a little bit of a delay there, but I'll be sharing the videos from Ken Honda, John Demartini. We've got all our main speakers literally sharing a little invitation for you to come and join us. I'm, I'm truly blessed and honored as well to have John Demartini, who, who also did a video for us. I just in case, you know, we have an issue here with the Internet, I'll, I'll put it also in the recording. But we're sharing all these on social media. John Demartini is, for me, one of the most smartest, intelligent people I know on the planet. I've had the pleasure of interviewing him a couple of times. He spoke at our events. So we're truly honored to have John talking about how we can elevate our consciousness. So there's plenty of opportunities there to, you know, engage with these amazing individuals. And then apart from that, well, we've obviously got the agenda, which is being completed every single day. So if you are, if you are, you know, going to theloveevent.com, check it out every single day because we're uploading and changing it. And we also have, and the, in the upcoming days, we're going to be having loads more panels that we're going to be announcing. Very, very exciting panels. And the panels are based on the results of what we're getting from you, what you want to hear about, what you want us to talk about. But anyway, so far already we've got, obviously, you know, we've got openings every morning. We've got confirmed times for Marisa Peer, for John Demartini, for Mass, for Ken, Honda, uh, David, Massa Daddy again, Jen Duplessis. Uh, we've got literally more and more panels and talks being confirmed every single day. It's very dynamic, 20, 25 minutes. And then after that, what we're doing is we're just literally moving on uh, in, into, in, into creating uh, the with with the panels, what we're doing is 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 we're literally becoming 30, 35 minutes, maybe five, six guests, four, five guests. But ideally, the talks are around 20, 25 minutes, and we move on to panels and then to another speaker. So there's no selling here. The intention is to deliver and to provide people with great inspirational content throughout the days. And these are obviously our partners. So it's, it's brought to you by the best you. It's obviously brought to you by Mass, by Top Talent, and Marissa Peer. These are our partners so far. There's many opportunities for any of you that would like to have your brand represented in all the logos, campaigns, commercials, email marketing that we're doing. And here, well, again, we've got some beautiful quotes on the web page about what does caring mean, you know, and, and here's one from Deepak Chopra. Um, and, and we've also got, you know, all sorts of people sharing fantastic ideas and we're sharing this on a daily basis. I'm big into consciousness now and how we can elevate consciousness. So for me, it's one of it's one of the biggest subjects that we're going to have there. But you know, there's going to be panels about self love, and there's going to be you know about abusive relationships. So we're going to be talking about the environment. We're going to be talking about you know how you can find love. We're going to be talking about how we can care more of the planet. How can we become kinder? Um, mental health is a big thing. You know, there's a lot of people talking about that, and then homelessness. So all these subjects, which are literally people are picking up in their survey, that's what we're doing. We're completing it and we're putting it out there. So these are the survey results so far and some fascinating stuff. So this is it, elevating consciousness. 62% of the people that are filling in um, all this information are just literally telling us what they would like to, like what they would like us to talk about. And this is big for pretty much 62% of all the people that are filled in the survey. 53% have talked about mental health. 44.5% want us to talk about hunger or 40% want us to talk about homelessness or less victimhood and more responsibility, 41%. Uh, more freedom uh, in the world, and that's 40%. Racism, 40%. Human trafficking, 37%. Anyway, the results are there. Uh, and these results, which, you know, you can do a screenshot very quickly if, if, you, if you're interested in that. I can also share the presentation if you, if you want to. Uh, if you're interested in us sending you the, pre the presentation, please just put your email there in the chat, and I'll share it with you. And if you want us to contact you at any point because you want to get involved in the event, again, contact us. Please put your email on there. So talk, communicate, tell us, you know, again, this is not my event. It's not our event. It's everyone's event. And there's an opportunity for you guys to get involved. I don't want the pressure or, or the responsibility of having to talk about love, but I just think it's needed. And, and there was a, a beautiful quote that I learned from, uh, from Sharon Lecter, which I used. And I actually said myself once, which is at a point in my life, you know, if not you, then not who, and then if not now, then when. So I've gone, I've gone across doing this because I just think it's something that we need to do. So these are the results of the survey so far. There's going to be a lot more information. Uh, and it's going to be, it was quite surprising, actually, for us to look at it recently. 
uh, and it had updated or changed quite a bit. Now, this intrigues me because it intrigues me because either people aren't reading the question right, or maybe love is definitely not at the top of their priorities. But we asked them, hey, how would you scale the importance of love? One to five. One being the most important thing, or five, the least important thing. Well, hey, 56% of people said that love is the most important thing, which I agree. I'm part of that 56%. But if, on the other hand, 30% of people have put it number five. Now, either they didn't read the question or they probably want money, they want other things. I don't know, but I would love to speak to them and I'd love to know why love is not right up there. If it's not number one, why is it not number two? But there you go again, number two, 6%. And number three, 3%. And number four, 5%. And five have put 30%. So Bernardo is shocked and surprised. Either they're like me and they're dyslexic and they can't read the questions or maybe just love is not right up there for them. But that's the result so far. Still, it's, it's a majority. So democracy have prevailed. And we agree so far that more than 56% of people believe that love is the most important thing. So we might be on track into something here. Then uh, we are talking about the marital status. And this obviously makes sense. 34% are married, 31% are single, 10% uh, have a partner, 6% with a partner. Sorry, I have a partner, 6% have a partner. 15% are divorced, 7% are separated, and probably a big percentage of them never want to have a partner in their life because they're burnt out. And I get that. So, you know, that's the result so far of all these, of the survey. And look, we're going to put it again in the chat and the recording, the results for the survey, but you can go. If you go to the loveevent.com, you'll see on the homepage, there's a link there for you to fill in the survey. Fill in the survey. It's free. It helps us. We want to get thousands and thousands of people filling in that survey before the love event happens. And that's what's going to dictate the panels that we're going to have at this event. And there were some great responses here. How would you define love? Well, it keeps evolving. Or love is infinite. Connection, love is all there. Love is kind, patient, nurturing. Love is essential. Essence is it's the life is an essence of life. Um, we've got some beautiful people putting in some lovely, you know, lovely statements or quotes about what they believe love to be. And, um, and I want to thank every single one of you, if you're watching this or whoever's going to be completing it, I want to thank them very much. Um, and the, the results were, you know, that's it. I'm not sure if you, are you guys, are you shocked? Are you surprised? I'm going to stop sharing for a minute. I just want to see if I can look into the chat properly, but I'd love to know uh, of all of you that are here today, how many of you are surprised with some of the results or how many of you agree with the results? I'd love to know more. Just let us know if you think that that is kind of aligned with what you feel uh, people, you know, should be filling in. And if any of you haven't filled in the survey, let me know and I'll be more than happy to, to share the survey. But as again, I said, you can find it on the loveevent.com. So I'm going to share the rest of the results because there's a couple of other bits of information here that I'd love to kind of share with you. So we're coming up with this plan and idea of how could we get this event to be viral and how people, how could we get people to, to buy into the idea of, of, um, of talking more about love, about bringing love more to the conversation every single day. And what could we do? So we came up with this idea, which is called the 10% more love. Now, what does it mean? Well, why is it 10%? Why is it not 15%? Why, why can it not be, I don't know, 60, 90%? Well, look, we're coming up with the idea of a pledge where we could say to people, look, it's 10%. And it's 10% of your day. Instead of focusing on things that aren't, you know, necessarily around being loving. Well, if you spent 10% of your day, let's say you spent eight hours at work. Well, you know, let's say you spend 12 hours, you spend 1.2 hours in doing acts of kindness in loving it might be calling spending an hour calling friends sending text messages doing research around some of the stuff that concerns you worries you human trafficking global warming homelessness i don't know but if we all spent 10 percent of our day 10 percent of our day in looking at how we can make a difference and how we could really become kinder and care more. I think if we if we were able to set this campaign, I mean, if we were all able to set a pledge, say, hey, this is what, how I'm going to be 10% more loving. This is how I'm going to bring 10% more love to the world. And if we could come up with this campaign and we could share it and we could all get hundreds or thousands of people to do it and we create a following in a community of people, of like-minded individuals that would love to do that, I think we're onto something. So again, I would love you guys to give me your thoughts. So if you don't mind, I would love to hear on the chat, just tell me on the chat, 
what is it you think about the 10% right, the 10% more love? What do you think about bringing 10% in a specific tangible way? It could be 10% more money. It could be that 10% of the money you spend every day, 10% of the money you spend on shops, 10% of the money you spend in a supermarket or in a coffee every day, you're going to put that away for a charity or a cause. I don't know. But there's so many great ways that we could do things. I think, and, and I agree, I think, Bobby, thank you. I think what we focus on expands and, and what we focus on grows. And I think if we, if we all were able to do that. So again, anyone that's watching this and you're going to be, you're obviously on our list, you're following us on Instagram or you're on Facebook on our private Facebook group. I'd love you to get involved. And, and, and you know, I'd love you to share it. So if you see this in our social media, share it. I'd love you to put it out to all this, um, all your community, to all the people that you know. So we're working on this campaign behind the scenes right now. We're going to start sharing it now. I wanted to give you guys a little preview. I wanted to give you a preview about the survey results. I wanted to give you a preview about the panels. I wanted to give you a preview around the, the results we've got so far, because those are going to be the panels. And I want you to obviously keep an eye on the webpage. But this is kind of the thing that I think could really elevate this event and position it as something that becomes a trend. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys here today. There's not a lot more information I wanted to share here with you today. I just want to thank you and, 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 and make sure that all of you and anyone that's watching this either, you know, live or recording have the opportunity, you know, to find out more. So you can get involved. You can become a sponsor. You can become a partner. And, you know, anything and everything is possible. You can have a small table there. You could become, you could have a table and be involved in a panel. That's of your liking. You could, um, you could, you could watch it online. We're doing now free tickets online. So any of you, again, that are watching, share it with your community. We need to have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people watching this in order to create a movement. My plan and my objective is to have this event running every single year. So this is a time to get involved. If you get involved now, if you're a, as a sponsor, a partner, a speaker, obviously, you know, we will acknowledge that. And, and it's not going to be the same in two or three years time when this has become a trend, if you wanted to get involved then. So there's opportunities for you to get involved. You can partner. We're looking for people that would want to share the revenue with us, you know, share the revenue that we're going to be making, which is just literally through ticket sales. This event is literally financed through ticket sales and some of the exhibitor sponsors and partners that we have. It isn't an event to make money. It's not an event for us necessarily, <coughs> you know, um, really look at how we could um, benefit from it. It's more about how we can have a global impact. So you can partner, you can sponsor. There's all sorts of things you could sponsor from tables, from the event. And also, obviously, you could you could speak or be involved in any way. So if you want to get involved, <coughs> excuse me, if you wanted to get involved, you just need to go to theloveevent.com Go on there, there's a contact form, fill in the form and ask us to contact you. And that's it. And it's as simple as that. I think this is an event that will hopefully potentially make a big difference. It will be the step for us towards, you know, creating a new reality around how we can elevate consciousness and how we can, you know, make a big global impact around the things that are really important, not to us, but to everyone around the world, you know. So I want to thank you so much. Um, as I said, I want to keep it brief. We're only into like 20 odd minutes. I understand and appreciate everyone's busy. So again, if there's anything that I can do to help you, please contact me. You can contact me through the loveevent.com page. If there's any way that you can help us, support us to create awareness, to distribute, to share either the ticket or the page, or you have some potential people that might want to get involved, or if you haven't completed the survey or anything or the above, I would really appreciate it. So in the meantime, from Buenos Aires in Argentina. I want to thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Ana Dengo. Thank you, Michael, and everyone that's been here today. And uh, we will be back in probably at the beginning of the year with another couple of updates and a couple of other webinars. There's a lot of very exciting things happening behind the scenes. So watch this space. Thank you so much. Lots of love. I may the best be with you. Take care.